Okay, go for five. One picture over Eastbourne. Complete performance in the end. Yeah, um, we said coming to Eastbourne is going to be difficult because we're fighting for their lives, and it's important that we. We start the game right, it's important that we, we have a good start to the game, which I thought we did. Um, obviously, um, it's about managing the game then, it's about making sure um, our discipline in possession, out of possession, is, is really good. And I thought our organi organization was good. Um, we got to take, take my hat off their goal. I'm one of the best goals I've seen, to be honest. Um, so, um, brilliant. Congratulations to the lad for hitting me that well. But again, it's about making sure um, we carry on being patient in our possession, making sure we switch in play, especially when they've gone down to 10 men, making sure we keep um, finding our plus one, which is important, um, find our white players in the right, at the right times, and, and then see how we can capitalize. We knew when the game wore, wore on, we were going to have more chances, um, spaces were going to open and there, there's going to be plenty of pocket of spaces for our players to, to come into it, but also we keep our width and I thought, um, you know, um, it was brilliant to, to see the way we finished the game off really, really strong. Um, maybe it's a bit frustrating at times because I'd say in the first half, obviously, once they got down to 10 men, they seemed to have their best spell probably, Eastbourne, didn't they? Maybe does that, maybe a bit of complacency comes in thinking you're one little half away from home, you know, and you've, uh, another man gets sent off, does that sort of go in psychologically plus different players? No, 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 with our group of players. It's about sourcing out, um, you know, what, they were trying to do. It's about making sure, as a group, we don't um, get too carried away because we are we are man man up in terms of um, 11 v 10. It's about making sure we don't change it too too quick. Um, and I thought our boys managed the game really really well going into into the break. And we just made some tactical points to them at half time to help them out and said keep playing the way you're playing, but just um, you know make sure the ball speed was doing the talking, don't take too many touches, just one, two touches and keep switching it and having that support behind the ball was, was important. So um, the lads, fantastic, they, they, they took that on board really well. I mean, was it was it tactical, I guess, at half-time to bring Sam Bone back into midfield? Because I say, obviously, made the change, Mark, I thought I had a good first half, but I guess you wanted full Bone, that, that experience and that's going to go into the middle. Yeah, something. definitely. We, like I said, we always have a plan B, um, a, plan, a plan, plan B, plan C. Um, including our plan A to make sure we look at all the personnel, we look at the units, um, the relationships we have between those units, and it was important that you know, I thought he was having a very good game at, at, um, at, at the back, but also he's a midfielder, he can play in there, and that um, frees some corner up um, for him to, to obviously um, impact it higher up for, for, for us in terms of. Um, getting us playing, getting in those half spaces, getting in the pocket of spaces and making things happen for us. And, you know, I thought it was a, it was a terrific um, adjustment for us at halftime. And then, of course, you bring on Lamar last 20 minutes and he wakes for his first goal, league goal of the season and then he gets three in one in one day. I mean, clean two cracking strikes for his first two goals. Yeah, we know what Lamar, what Lamar brings. We know we know that when he's starting also, we know when he's, when he's coming off the bench, he gives us that, um, that impact that we want. Um, we've seen it in... Bondus, um, but again, it's the quality in and around that final third um, to make sure, you know, when you're striking the ball, can you hit it cleanly, can you hit the target, but um, some super finish from him, by the way, um, to be honest, he deserves his, um, his hat-trick today, he's been playing well, he's been coming close, um, but again, he's assisted lots of goals for us, and we have to look at all the pluses, um, but delighted for Lemar, but also big um, respect to Sam Con because he's the designated um, penalty taker, and he's handed that ball over to Lemar, and Lemar is um, executed it perfectly. So he gets his, um, all the praises and deserves his hat trick today. And also, you want to take that obviously into Monday, Kent Derby against Welling United, getting their fighting down the bottom, and that they've had a change of manager. It'll be a completely different game, won't it, to when we played them up at their place? Yeah, they're a very good side. Um, you know, we played them at, 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 at their place, and you know, it was a very good game, in my opinion. Um, so we have to respect where they are in the league, um, but also change of management there's been some good and um, um, good good adjustments um, we have to be very very uh, mindful but again it's about the recovery process now for, for our players to make sure we fully recover to go again and um, comes Monday we'll be prepared for for welling to, to play in front of our home crowd and you know um, it's a good cook for, for, for a good um, local derby game at home well thanks for your time Catherine. see you again Monday thank you